Shaw with Renaissance Periodization, and today I'm going to demo a recipe from my very first cookbook, The Renaissance Kitchen. This is slow cooker chicken tikka, and I know a lot of you with the cookbooks really like this recipe. Um, it's always nice to have just tons of flavor, and all of these Indian spices that we're gonna put in here are super, super flavorful. And it's a slow cooker recipe, so I know you guys, if you're like me, you love those, where you just throw everything in a pot, and walk away for a few hours and you come back and you have really tender and flavorful protein. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make the sauce right here in the slow cooker pot. So you're not gonna have to dirty up, um, you know, another mixing bowl or do anything too involved. We're just gonna add tomatoes into here and a chopped onion, some tomato paste, Tomato paste is like a staple for me. I make um, just marinara sauce. I'll spread it on if I'm making like a tortilla pizza or something. I love that concentrated flavor of tomato paste. Chopped garlic. And all of our Indian flavorings and spices. And then you just give this a stir right in the pot. And then kind of spread that out so that it covers the bottom. And then put your chicken breasts right on the top. This is just boneless, skinless chicken breast. And just kind of set it right on the top. And then we're just gonna cover this and heat this on low for six hours. All right, let's finish the slow cooker chicken tikka. So we open it up here. It looks amazing. It smells really good. I'm gonna take out the chicken barely holding together, which is what we want. And then we're going to add some yogurt in to kind of cream up this sauce. But you don't wanna just dump cold yogurt into a steaming hot pot. It'll curdle and get kind of gross and weird. So I'm going to just take a little bit of the hot sauce and add it in. We're gonna slowly bring up the temperature of the yogurt so it's not quite so cold. So we don't want it to do anything weird when we add it in. And that's good enough. You just don't want a shock of a really cold item. Okay, so we've got that yogurt in there. We're just gonna stir it around just to cream up the sauce a little bit. Add some salt and pepper. I'll set this off to the side while we shred the chicken. And this should go really quickly. And that's all you need to do. Two forks, super tender. We'll add this to our bowl. And bring our sauce back over. This is gonna be amazing by itself. Pour over a bowl of jasmine rice, brown rice. Just an interesting way with some unique flavors to work with plain old skinless, boneless chicken breast.